gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Better, stronger, faster. If you remember that, that opening remarks by Oscar Goldman, you're of a certain vintage and you'll know what this is. It's Steve Austin's bionic arm. This bionic arm I made uh, in 1978 at my elementary school science fair. In 1978, the heyday of the bionic man, the six million dollar man. Now this is certainly 1970s technology. And we have vacuum tubes, relays. It's definitely not of today's era. Six million dollars in uh, in the mid 70s, adjusted for inflation, this would probably be $6 billion today. Now this arm I've had in storage since 78, and I, I got it out of storage, and it was, in a, it was in a sad state. I originally had a battery in here, and it ran this motor, and there were cables going up to each finger, and it actually pulled the fingers in when, when you turned it on, and also, there was wires here to each finger and when you bent the arm at the joint here the fingers would move not with any great strength but they did move i recommissioned it and rebuilt it with the, with the help of rudy dr rudy wells of course he was giving me a hand here literally now this is retired now. It no longer does work for the OSI. So I didn't put the cables back on. But I did fix the relays and the lights. And if you look at the opening scene where Steve Austin's on the operating table, there's actually stuffing here. You can actually see the stuffing in, in the prop that they used. That's why that stuffing is hanging out there because it's authentic to the opening sequence. So I just thought you'd like to see uh, the bionic arm. Finally finished it. I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, it was it was in sad shape before. Now I've, I've made a display case for it and it's, it's, going, uh, it's going in the case. And just uh, coincidentally, it did win first prize in 1978. Get a load of that blue Dynatape. Cutting edge in the 70s. Anyway, cheers for watching. Catch you later.